After the first loss of the season last week against Essendon, West Coast made five changes, which included the returns of Nick Natanui and Adam Selwood, while Matthew Prittis was a late withdrawal with concussion. The Eagles had won 15 of their previous 16 games at Subiaco, while the venue held few fears for St Kilda, five wins in their last five visits to Perth. The Saints skipper opened the scoring. Rebolt from 48, keeps it low. Perfection. Luke Shuey levelled the scores from long distance before Josh Hill presented himself perfectly to set up his 17th of the season. For the lead for the first time for the West Coast and Hill has become a mountain up forward for the West Coast. Natanui timed his run to the split second. And got it. <laughs> you can see that one from a mile away. His goal made it four straight for West Coast. And he drives it through. Reece Stanley's hamstring concerns left St Kilda Ruckman short. Andrew Gaff helped the Eagles pull away. With the biggest lead of the game, 22 points. Never in doubt. Hot start from the West Coast. On the edge of quarter time and the boundary, no trouble for Bo Waters. On the siren, he's kicked it from there. Jamie Cripps called on a substitute for Stanley at the start of the second term, as Revolt made heavy weather of eating into the Eagles' 28-point quarter-time lead. Run down by McKenzie, still gathers and goes. West Coast response didn't take too long, when the Ruckman looked for each other. Nat Nui on the run, he takes on Cripps, who can't get him. Slides this one to full forward Cox. The Saints drew within 16 points when Sam Gilbert and Revolt went back to back. Quinton Lynch answered with his 12th of the season. Instant reply again. Jack Darling snared his 15th goal of the year, while Waters lifted West Coast into the 60s with a super size effort. Bangs it from 60. He kicked that from off the map. <laughs> well, he's on fire by Waters at the moment, uh, having been plenty of the ball. Tell you what, he doesn't kick too many goals, Bo, but when he does, he celebrates. Timing was an issue for the Saints in the front line. Dean Cox, straight and true. For number three for Dean Cox. Well and it's a 42-point margin for the West Coast Eagles. The Eagles were soaring. Darling made it five in a row. Bounces all the way through. The feeding frenzy not restricted to Eagles, as West Coast dined out on a first-half landslide. The margin's back out. 48 points. At half time, West Coast 13 6 84, St Kilda 5 5 35. The Saints started the second half with back to back goals from Cripps and Ahmed Saad, whose major was anything but straightforward. Back in, gets it, can't get a toe on it, second time he does. Well, fortune favoured the brave there. David Armitage made it three on the bounce for St Kilda before a free kick to Cox ended the Saints streak. To stop the St Kilda run. He's a superstar, Dean Cox. Cripps had a free ride to send through his second. Terry Malira positioned himself well for St Kilda's fifth major of the term. Jack Stephen trimmed the margin to 15 points. And they're all in here, the Saints. They've raised the stakes. Will Schofield was almost undetected in the goal mouth and he eased the Eagles' concerns. Casual as you like. Cripps' knee injury stretched the Saints' resources as they turned for home, trailing by 21 points. West Coast made St Kilda's task that much harder when they improved the margin midway through the final quarter. Well, it's worked perfectly for McGinnity. And the crowd finds voice yet again. Two goals by two nicks, and the Saints felt they could nick it with five minutes to go. From a stand start, it's a wouldn't be going home. It was up to Shuey, West Coast's first goal scorer, to drive the result beyond doubt. For the finishing blow, that's off the scale. That is unbelievable, but a perfect way to finish it off. The Eagles back on top of the league after their seventh win of the season. Full-time West Coast 18-13-121, St Kilda 13-13-91. Charles Christian, Big Pond Sport. <laughs>